Hi, Coco. Hi, Nigel. How are you? Okay. Good. Is it Nobel or Noble? Noble. Noble. Okay, I've seen it spelled. Yes, Boy, it's N O B L E, but it's a common mistake. Okay. Whatever you're ready. We're ready? We're rolling. Hi there, this is Coco with Endeavor Cinema Group. I am sitting here with Academy Award winning documentarian Nigel Noble. Nigel, Hi. what do you think about the festival so Oh, I think it's great. I was just actually, I, I think it's great because I think that it's intimate and it should be in film festivals, showing a film over there and another one two miles mm -hmm. away down there. It's, it's the smaller, the better. And the more contact you have with people in the audience as filmmakers and the more the festival celebrates the filmmaker and not the sponsor, right. that is Right. That's, what did you think about that Skype session last night? I thought that was a great way to do it. If a, if a director can't be present, this is the way to go. I mean, it worked well, and it was, uh, it, it was fun to participate in it. As far as um, uh, charcoal people, okay, what, I understand it's something to do with the Brazilian rainforest. I mean, what got you to it was actually, go after it, that It was about child labor, actually, at the, at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It was about child labor. When we um, arrived and, and, and developed the process, it was scouted, it was prepared, it was all set up, and then when we went back to shoot it, all those migrant workers had moved on. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing there with a full, full film crew, wondering, what am I going to make this film about? And the first person I met was, like, in his 80s, 80s. Um, maybe even older, maybe in his 90s, and still working in this terrible atmosphere of these charcoal <laughs> okay. ovens and smoke and, and, I mean, really, really, really dirty work. And um, these were 90 people, years old. Yeah, lifting huge logs. Wow. I'm serious. I mean, he was very poor, poor as a church mouse. And um, I said, okay, well, let's start with him and go through different family stories, getting younger and younger and younger, until we find uh, an eight-year-old working in the business. Okay. And that's what we did, and that's, that's, that's how we approached it. And when we got the cameras closing in on teenagers and eight- and ten-year-olds working, it got mm -hmm. very dangerous. And uh, we had to fly out of one place very quickly in the middle of the Amazon if we were going to survive the experience because they didn't want the world to know about what those children were doing. But, but it, and, and it, I mean, I, I went there thinking child labor was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's another pair of hands, another little bit of income. And for people living really in total destitution, it, this, it made sense. Mm -hmm. Of course, as we sit here in our society and rich society. We think, oh, that's outrageous, but it's not to them. But the film celebrated these people working, working in, in this kind of atmosphere, um, environment. Uh, and the film never, never indicts the industry because the purpose of charcoal, making charcoal is to put it into iron ore. Uh, and, and the iron industry, um, is taking advantage of, mm. of, of our resources, cutting down the Amazon. So I'm wondering, um, you know, you have all these awards, including an Oscar, and, you know, I'm thinking, what, what motivates you to do your work? I mean, and, and why do you think it captures the audiences the way that it does? You know, what is it that you do in your work that, you know, how, how do you do it? W what motivates you? What do you really try to get at when you're doing what you do? I make people feel comfortable in front of the camera. I think that that's I let I let the film tell itself. I don't impose myself at all. In fact, okay. the less I do, the better it is. So, what drives you to be in this business? What do you like about it? I think there's a lot of problems in this in this society, and I want to I want to improve those. Mm -hmm. I want to make some statements about. I, I, you know, I was told, oh, you know, you can't go into film and leave messages, then you, you'll, you'll never make any money. Well, I never made any money, you're right. But I do believe in making, saying a statement, making a statement. 
in film. And, and my way of doing it is to make people feel very relaxed in front of the camera and, and really it's an extraordinary privilege to make documentaries, to walk into people's lives mm -hmm. and they do open up and they, they, they reveal themselves to the camera if they feel comfortable. And as far as um, I heard you mentioning, you know, what you still want to do, what, what are you working on now or what upcoming projects are there that... I, I really want to make feature films. I started out in the theatre in England and I came to this country to work with actors and somehow got diverted into making documentaries. And as I say, it's a privilege, it's a real privilege to make documentaries. But I... I've... I've done that, mm -hmm. been there, yeah. want to make features, because I think <laughs> films with messages are being seen, and there's a bigger audience for feature films, and so I, I intend to continue my career working with actors, and I can't wait. I've gotten <laughs> close. Do you know I, what you're going to, what your first one's going to be? Yeah, it's a, f uh, yes, I do, I do. We've Is just, it a secret? We've, it, we've Finished writing the script on Friday okay. of last week. Really? Yeah. And so we're now looking for the money to make this film. about a, 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 it's, a, it's about a, a young man who's now 35 and has kept a secret for 20 years and was unable to tell the story of, that, uh, of what happened to him when he was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And it's destroyed him, that, keeping that secret for that long. It's just totally totally destroyed his life and the people around him. His marriage just went down the tubes and um, he would have these nightmares and, and, and it, it's the story of, of, of a young man who was abused by a Catholic priest. Okay. Now it sounds, it sounds really depressing, Yeah. but the way it's done is it's all taking place in his head, voices in his head, mm -hmm. Which we, who we see, okay. this very theatrical device, but I think I found a way to visualize it for film. Um, and they're funny. Okay. And, and they're him. They're all of them are mm -hmm. him. So he's, it's, it's, it's so actually, one guy it's, it's a black comedy. Okay. It's a black okay. comedy. Okay. Well, I mean, is there um, anything else you might want to share with us? Especially, you know, I'm always um, wanting to know what we can share with the younger audience, the people that you know, have dreams of wanting to do film. What, what's the best advice you can give them? Make sure that the film that you want to do is relevant mm -hmm. to the world today, to society at large. Have passion for it. Know your subject, but don't over know it. Discover it while you're making the film. Know where you're starting from, the station mm -hmm. that you're leaving and the station that you're going to. Um, know those things very clearly. Have a through line, but then don't insist that you stay on that through line. Let the, let the film tell you where it wants to go. And don't, and this is the biggest point, don't edit your own film. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to share with us, Nigel? That I, think the students, I, I think the students of this, this town missed, blew it by not coming to this film festival. I, I mean, I really, it's really a shame that there wasn't people, to, because we want to, directors want to tell you how to make films, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we didn't have that opportunity. What was the overall reflection of the whole film? Like, you were telling me about the atmosphere, about the film festival. Is it different than the others? Yes. Um, I've been, I've been to, uh, I've been to Cannes and I've been to Toronto, I've been to Sundance and all those little festivals too. And this one is, is the most charming and the most warm-hearted film festival I think I've ever been to. And I'm going home with great, great memories. And uh, I think really wonderful friends in, in the Latino film community that I, I'm just so excited to know. and and have had wonderful conversations with them. That's what makes a good film festival, is the communication between the directors and, 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 and the celebration. Yeah. Well, great. Awesome. Any other questions? Anything that's... Uh, that was pretty much what I had.
Good. Awesome. Great. That's great. Thank Good. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. He's so charming. <laughs> <laughs> we did I this. I was so behind schedule no. yesterday. No. 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 no worries. I was completely, you know, we, we took a trip around around uh, Fort Worth instead mm -hmm. of coming directly here. We were on the oh, vehicle, really? vehicle that had to drop some of the lady and the other one down. Oh, I to see some of the city.